So you downloaded an executable to be installed into your PC. However, when you double clicked on it, you get a pop up like this one. Then the question is, you don't know the password. What can you do then? So I will be teaching you an easy way to easily bypass that and have your software installed into the computer. This is super easy to do. Now, before we get started, remember kids, hacking is illegal. illegal. If you try to install some of this software into a computer that doesn't belong to you, say a computer that is in your school, in your campus, a computer that is in your office, you do not own these computers. If you try to bypass those security controls, you will get into trouble. Now, before we jump into the demonstration, remember to smash the like button and turn on notification to the channel so that you get notified whenever you get hacked. No, I mean, whenever there is a new hacking tutorial. <laughs> So as you can see here, I have a Windows computer running and we have a specific file right here called steam setup.exe. So this is a executable that you can double click onto. And so when I double clicked on it, there is a pop-up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Unfortunately, I do not know the administrative password. So there's no way for us to be able to install this executable into the computer because we have no access. So what I can do now is enter no, I can enter a different type of passwords. I click yes on that. The username and password is incorrect. So we are pretty much on update end. Now here is the trick. All you gotta do is do a right click, click new and click on the say text document. Enter hacker, all right. And then what we'll do now is delete the extension and enter BAT. So BAT is a batch file. So yes, we want to change the file name extension, change it, yes. So this allow us to run operating system command against the target file that we want to. So you do right click on this, click on to add it. And this is the part where it gets super interesting. Only two lines of code needed. So you can see right here, we got a couple of commands. The first command allow us to run as the invoker, meaning that we can continue to run this as the user who does not have the administrative privileges. Number two is to go ahead and target onto the executable that we're going for. So in this case, it can be any executable that you want to install into the PC. So once you're ready, go ahead and save the file. All right, click save on that and done. And now what we got to do is just execute on it. So in three, two, one, double clicked on it, Boom, look at that. There's no more prom for the past and we can easily install or run any executable against the PC right now. 